Welcome back, Internet. Okay, I was looking for a game to play. I was thinking of playing Piggy, but then I was checking out the games page, and look at that! There was almost 700,000 people playing Adopt Me, and I was like, what? I had to go check it out. I had to go see why so many people were playing this game. I, I, I had played it like a day or two ago. I kind of just popped in really quick. And looked around and I ran into Mark T009 and he gave me a, a, a ultra rare panda, red panda or something, which was really cool. Thanks to you for that. And then today I saw that a bunch of people were playing it and I'm like, whoa, I got to check it out and see what's going on. So I got in game. I bumped into one of my grandkids here and that's her there, exclusive Angeline. She's one of my grandkids that plays Roblox. In fact, she's the one who introduced me to Roblox. And got me playing it about 10 weeks ago. Anyway, I was having problems getting this red stupid hat off my head. And she told me um, what I was doing wrong. She gave me some help uh, figuring out the clothes and the different, you know, controls and stuff of this game. And then after that, we went and we uh, checked out people's houses that weren't locked. That was fun. Stupid me. I didn't know all I had to do is just click right there and I'd get rid of the hat You know, I was looking I was scrolling through these hats and trying to figure it out and awesome uh, She gave me the heads up on how to get rid of that thing and I got rid of it And I was happy because that hat was really starting to piss me off Especially with my hair, you know the hair and hats and the in Roblox don't seem to always mix so great So uh, I was very happy get rid of that and so after that we uh, went and checked out a few unlocked houses and got some decorating ideas for when I go and decorate my own house and of course I had to dance this guy had a dance floor and a nice you know laser disco ball I had to get my groove on yeah Who, who's better than that nobody well I guess everybody that's what dance move for or something like that yeah it's fun I like it and here we are going to check out another house and this one really didn't have much in it it was kind of empty more than anything there's a few things but it was mostly empty um really quick want to do a shout out for omg it's angel leslie she was also in game earlier and she traded me um a turkey so i got a turkey also as a pet which is pretty cool so thank you for that um, I really don't know what the value of any of these things are, but I guess this game has a lot of trading and and whatnot in it. And I guess there's also a lot of scamming, too, you gotta be careful of. So I'm kind of learning about that. The exclusive Angeline was giving me the lowdown on scammers and things uh, of that nature as well. So after checking out a few houses, getting some decoration ideas... Exclusive Angeline and I decided to go out and explore the town a little bit. She's going to give me a tour and show me a few things. And oddly enough, a lot of people come up out of nowhere and they just start, you know, they give you a trade request request, and they want to trade with you, except I don't know the value of anything, so I didn't want to, like, trade anything. I really don't have anything. You know, just my awesome panda and a turkey, which is pretty cool, and a couple unhatched eggs, but... So I'm so new in the game, so I really don't know what to trade people, and I, I'm going to have to get the lowdown on that. So uh, if anybody gives me some tips or anything on some good trading bargains down below in the comments, otherwise I'm just going to have to figure it out as I play this game and go along with, with, uh, with just learning it, you know. And this is about the point where I realized that my red panda smells. He was hungry, needed to go to the hospital, he needed a bath, he was bored, he was, he was thirsty, he wanted everything. I Boy, you gotta give these guys a lot of attention. You know, you gotta pay attention to your pets. You don't want your pets to get sick and die on you. Can they even die in this game? I don't know. Uh, beats the heck out of me. But anyway, yeah. So, uh, my pet really stinks just bad just bad man bad so after a while i get back home i get that panda fed i give him a bath give him a nap all that good stuff and i start messing around with the clothes in the game a little bit figuring out uh, a look for my avatar which i'm gonna have to probably spend some money uh to get things where i want it to be which is what it is um no big deal but yeah this is a fun game i kind of like adopt me i mean i like piggy a lot you know, and Blacksburg a lot, but Adopt Me's fun. I can see why there's almost 700,000 people that are playing it right now. It's a fun game. 
So yeah, trying to figure out my hairdo. Got four of them going, and I kind of narrow it down to one or two. Whoa! Don't know about that. That looks kind of weird on me. But uh, yeah, there's so many choices of different things. Oh yeah, sexy. There's so many choices of things that you can do. You know, for clothes and hair and all that stuff. Uh, it's pretty fun. I mean, you could probably spend hours just messing around with all this stuff. Easy! Easy, man! Easy! So I figure while I'm kind of exploring the interface here, I'll do some dancing. Practice on my dancing. You get lots of, uh, you know, requests to go to parties and for trades and to uh, join a family and different things like that. So I'm going to switch most of this stuff over to just friends and whatnot um friends and oh i hope it in, it also covers people who are in the asgard yorkie poo group and not just friends but i you know i think it's probably close to the same it's under 200 i think for both my friends list and my group list that i got going on but uh i want anybody who's my friend and in the group to be able to find me when i'm playing games so they can you know come say hi and join in and you know mess around in game because that's fun all right now we're off to school gotta train these pets some tricks right he needs a preteen. he needs to learn he's gotta go to school so uh i have a feeling there's a lot to do in adopt me there's just gotta be a lot to this game because i can't imagine why almost 700,000 people are playing it um so I'm sure I'm just scratching the surface. That's really what this video is. It's just me kind of messing around and checking out some things and seeing if this is going to be a game that I'm going to want to spend some more time in playing. All right, Red Panda. Learn some tricks. Let's check it out. Nice one. Lay down. That's important. That's very important. He can bounce. He can sit. He can do all kinds of cool. That's awesome. That's just neat. Neat. I like it. I like it. Stamp of approval, thumb up. And I think it's pretty cool that you can put some clothes on your pet. Because once in a while, my I, my pet, my pet dog, we throw a bandana on him or something. But that's cool. Give this little red panda a hat and a little bell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, of course, besides feeding them and bathing them and keeping them healthy and all that, fun stuff you gotta keep them from being bored so yeah we spent a little time at the park playing it just kind of surprises me though how much i gotta bathe him he just gets so stinky smelly disgusting smells like poop and pee and sweat and he's smelling other animals butts and who knows what else yeah he's filthy he's a filthy filthy red panda but i love him so after a while, I put the panda away and started looking at my other pets. And I got, you know, a starter egg, I got the Christmas egg, and, you know, I got the turkey that was given to me, and the red panda that was given to me, of course, and the regular dog that I think I started with, I'm not sure. But I took out this Christmas egg, I had no idea what the heck this thing is. I took that out, and it's just weird because people seem to want that Christmas egg. People kept wanting the trade, and it was getting crazy. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but pizza does sound good tonight. I think I'm going to have that for dinner. So yeah, you know, I'm just messing around, making a pizza, because my egg was hungry. The egg said, feed me! So I had to feed it. And then, of course, you know, I got other people coming up trying to make me offers to get my egg. They want that egg! I kept getting people, you know, coming out of nowhere. I guess that's what you do in this game. It's all about trading and getting stuff you want. And that's cool. I get it. I don't mind it. Um... But I don't know anything about eggs and hatching eggs and what comes out of it. So I wanted to keep this egg and I wanted to see um, what it was going to hatch into. And I decided I better go hatch this thing before too long and, you know, figure it out. Because otherwise people were going to keep trying to get that egg from me. And I wanted to keep that egg. Oh, did I want to keep that egg. Uh, so after getting out of the pizza place, I decided I'm going to run home someplace safe. With my Christmas egg and I'm going to hatch it. Now I don't know if it matters if you have to wait. Because right now it says unhatched and there's that little meter on there. Does that mean I have to, I should wait for it to get, you know, 
fully cooked, so to speak? Or can I hatch it right away if it makes a difference? Um, I know you can hatch them right away, but I don't know if you, if you wait longer, if you get a better pet. If you let that bar meter go up on them, I don't know. But either way, I'm going to hatch this thing. I presume that if you wait for the unhatched meter to get all the way to the all the way to the top, you don't have to pay to unhatch your egg. But if you do it early, you have to um, spend some money to hatch. So what do we get? 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 What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? An Arctic fox. Okay. I have no idea. I mean, I know what an Arctic fox is, but is it a valuable pet? I don't know. Hey, he's soft and fluffy and cute. Yeah, yeah, I like that. But, I mean, I don't know. Is it something I want to hang on to, Internet? Is it something I should trade? Try to trade up? I mean, what it, What are they, what are, what's the point? I mean, it's an Arctic fox. It's got to be, let's check it. Okay, how do you put it away? How do I put it away? Pick up, dress. Oh, wait, yeah, pets, okay. Click. He's, yeah. Wow, okay, well, that's cool. Well, he's I, maybe he's worth something. I'm going to hang on to him. Yeah, we'll raise him, do something with him. Cool. Well, I feel I'm off to a good start playing Adopt Me. It seems like it's a fun game. I presume, again, that there's a lot to do in Adopt Me. A lot of people play it. Um, so if, you're, if you watch this far into the video, let me know. What other things there are to do? I mean, is there more to do besides just raise and trade pets? Um, I have a feeling there's a lot of exploring I gotta do. A lot of exploring. They got a lot of weird stuff you can do for decorating and clothes. Ah! Ugh! Giant head with red lipstick. That's just creepy. Ooh, here we go. Shrek, have you seen me donkey? I don't know where my donkey is right now. Oh, the princess. I can't find anything here. Oh, that's a bad accent. I better stop while I'm ahead. All right, Internet, I'm going to wrap this one. Uh, adopt me. There, uh, it just There's so many games in Roblox to play, and this looks like it's another one that I could have some fun messing around in. I'm probably going to spend more time in Adopt Me, as well as going back and doing a lot of Piggy, and also Roblox. It seems like those three games, Roblox, I'm sorry, not Roblox, Bloxburg, Adopt Me, Piggy, I'm probably going to focus on those three games a little more moving forward. Um, at least that's my intent. Anyway, thanks for watching, Internet. I much appreciate everything everyone's been doing. I also want to say, OMG, it's Angel Leslie and Mark T009. Thanks to both of you. You guys gave me those uh, pets here in game, and that was pretty sweet. Um, and also, uh, thanks to my grandkid who helped me out in game. And you know who you are. All right, thanks, Internet. We'll catch you on the next video. Stay safe. Stay healthy.